there are 8,829 software QA engineer jobs on Glassdoor.com. And if you see the pay, it's anywhere from 86 to 131. You see here as well, up to 87,000 a year. This one up to 123,000 a year. But I was wondering, how can you start even if you have no experience from before? Is this job future proof? So it's not gonna be taken by AI in one year. What do they actually do? Is it hard? And how long does it take to get a job? That's what I wanted to break down in this video to figure out if this is a good job for you or good job for me if AI takes my job. Just imagine, we have no experience we start our remote work career where we can work from anywhere and make up to 100K per year. Here's the scoop. I found this company that's called Careerist that is offering this program here called Software QA Engineering. And they have hundreds of different testimonials from people who've gone through the course. I've even seen video testimonials of people that got a really high paying job, as you can see from these amazing testimonials here. And we've been messaging back and forth and they ended up actually sponsoring this video so I can figure out what it is and why this might be the best way to get a remote job in tech. But the first question I had is, what is it? Hey, what does a software, software QA engineer do? A software QA quality assurance engineer focuses on ensuring the quality and functionality of software through testing. They create and execute test plans, identify bugs or issues, and work with developers to fix them. Their goal is to ensure the software meets the required standards and works as intended before it is released to users. Interested in knowing more about their tools or processes? So basically a uh, software quality assurance to make sure that the software is good, which makes sense. But then I was like, will AI take that job as well? And they had a nice article here from QA test lab team on LinkedIn, where they basically asked, if ChatGPT will replace QA engineers. And by reading it, you can see that ChatGPT will easily automate repetitive tasks and a lot of different things. But the main thing is that software is meant for humans and humans will still be using the software. So they tested it on all these different traits where they basically found that ChatGPT is kinda good at some things where a QA engineer is definitely better at most things. Even ChatGPT said itself, I don't think I can fully replace a QA specialist as they have a deep understanding of testing methodologies, testing design and testing automation. So they came to the conclusion that yes, it may be helpful for some things, but it's not here to replace place QA engineers, which is good news for us. There's another article here from Forbes, keep calm and continue testing nine reasons why manual testing will always be in demand. And here it kind of breaks down that since AI will write a lot of the software, it needs a lot more testing by humans because the quality of code that is going out into the world now is a little bit less, which makes the role of QA engineer even more valuable. This article here as well from the US Bureau of labor statistics has this article where they're saying overall employment of software developers, quality assurance analysts, and testers is projected to grow by 25% from 2022 to 2032, much faster than the average for all occupations. And they have this beautiful graph here of computer occupations. It's like 14% growth where actually software developers, quality insurance analysts and testers, 25%. Also, according to Forbes here, the number two happiest job is quality assurance engineer. So that may be a little bit more comfortable knowing that this is a job that will stay around but I still had questions about is Careerist a good place for us to actually do this career coaching? So I needed to dig into if they actually had some good testimonials and people actually getting a job after their bootcamp. So they have been mentioned in Business Insider and they also have this Careerist article on TechCrunch. So I went to their page here where they say you can land your first job in tech anywhere from 69 to 105K. And we kind of saw that on Glassdoor as well, but they actually have a very nice website and they have a bunch of different instructor instructors and they have this video testimonials here that I really wanted to dive in and look at with you. I was doing uh, alarm installations. I was a technician installing security systems, uh, cameras. I always, in, you know, I always had a interest on on technology, even when I like, was working more. It was more hardware that I was working. Um, but you know, living so close to the Bay Area, Silicon Valley, you know, I was 
thought about an opportunity to be part of that industry. I found uh, Carreras on Twitter, now X, <laughs> that I found the opportunity to get a, you know, entry level uh, position in the, in the tech industry. My mentor, Valentina, she was very good. I, she kept me, you know, engaged. She would call me and set up, I would set up appointments with her, let her know about my progress, how many jobs I have applied. Um, and then she would just call me to follow up. Hey, how did it go? Um, encourage me to don't give up, you know, to keep trying. And I appreciate that a lot. Finally, I got the job. So yeah, I'm happy. I do like this profession. I do like, yes, I recommend this uh this career. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Uh, I've tried myself in the web design before as well. My hobbies are photography and videography as well. So I had kind of like artistic background to me, like more of a hobby side than, than the job itself. Um, and then just someone told me about QA. I've never heard of it before, which was like a couple of years ago. And I asked him what the job is about. He's like, well, it's just clicking buttons, making sure everything is working, you know, saying if it's not working. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> so in reality, that's kind of what it is. So I got into that and he recommended me the, the carrieris. That's how I found it in the first place. Because it was like the first person who told me about that. And I was like, okay, let me look into this. So ended up having a job. But when it comes to the process itself, the course was quick. It wasn't too many people. It was a lot of details. It was a lot of attention to us, like to each separate student, which was nice that it was kind of a group meeting, but still not really. So it was nice. We heard a lot of feedback as well from the people that we worked with or we did the internship with. Um, the victor my mentor is totally different story is i got i i did not expect that level of support and that level of help that i got honestly wow there's so many here let's find one more find a job in 3.5 weeks just following the step i worked at home depot night shift driving forklifts lifting lumber moving cement bags so some pretty you know heavy blue collar work and I was like, man, I'm not doing this for long because I'm not getting paid what I want. Um, I mean, I was moving up and supervisors and managers liked me, but I was looking at the pay and like things didn't add up. And I remember just Googling, I don't know what, um, software something. And uh, an ad came up for just, hey, software testing. And I disregarded it for like two or three months. And then I tried to, because um, I was rooming at, with a roommate at that time, I was trying to move into an apartment. I couldn't afford the apartment, at, you know, working at that pay rate. So I was like, okay, man. So I went back to software testing, Google it, and then looked up other software uh, programs. You guys popped up. I went to your site and then um, signed up. <laughs> nice. And nice. then I put, I took the option. Yeah, I took the option of uh, just paying everything in advance because that's me. But you can split it up depending upon what you want. Um, yeah, so that was September of this last year. So all of September went through the program. All of October went through the internship. It probably could have been a little bit shorter, but I just, for me being me, I, uh, I, I took all of October. Um, November, I worked with my mentor, uh, practiced the interview questions, went over the packet that y'all gave us. And then after Thanksgiving, I started applying to jobs, and then three weeks later, I got a job offer. Um, wow. That was my three situation. Weeks. You had three weeks job offer. Yeah, about, yeah, about three and a half weeks. So my, I don't know, maybe it was timing, maybe it was something else, but 187 job applications and just three and a half weeks. So, I mean, it sounds super cheesy, but the program itself, no lie, if you just do the packet, study the questions, rehearse with your mentor, just do the, the tutorial, it's four weeks of work but it's broken down into manageable um, sections, you're fine. And then obviously when you actually get to the job application process, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, it's not working out one month, two months into it. But I have friends not in the tech field and st they're getting job offers just because of that. Um, and you guys touch up on it as well in your program, but that mindset shift of, hey, look, you don't have to go crazy and put, oh, I know how to do Python, JavaScript, blah, 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 blah. You, you don't, I mean, if you know it, that helps, but it's just about, you know, going with the work that you guys gave us. Yeah, it seems like people are getting good results with it and people are actually praising the bootcamp and internship. So I'm kind of sold on this. I really want to try to dig in and see what does it look like? How can we get support? And I also want to test 
doing a manual QA job just to see how it is. So I just logged into the program right now and I see that they have on the side here, my training, my internship stage and my career coaching. So it seems like in the my training, the manual QA started like a cohort on January 28th and they have 20 lessons here. So let me click on learn more and see what's actually happening here. And this is how it looks like. So this is the learning space. We have a bunch of different lessons. So lesson number one here, they even have a little pop up of attended the lesson one career and job market overview online. I didn't do that. So let's click no. And here we have a video that they're going through. Let's see how long it is. So two hours, great length for this. And it seems like they are going through the career growth here. You can say they go through what we do at work, what my friends think I do, what my mom think I do, what engineers think I do. And yeah, it seems like this teacher is really engaging and cool. They have all the slides here so you can go through it on your own and the survey here, which is to fill out the onboarding survey. So I didn't actually fill this out, but it's nice that they actually want me to take a survey. So they can probably reach out to me and see what is my motivation and stuff like that. I know that they have a lot of instructors and you know, the testimonials were talking about coaches that are just helping you through every step of the way. And they also have this quiz here. I really like quizzes when it comes to online learning because you can watch the video, but if you don't actually retain the information, you didn't really learn anything, right? So take the quiz, you can actually test yourself on this and it takes about four minutes you really understand which one is the correct yeah as can see not not the right answer and things like this which makes retaining the information a lot easier but they also have this my internship stage so in order to get access to this you need to achieve a course score of 80 percent or higher you need to complete the final quiz and all homework submitted and approved so i haven't gained access to this and by reading through this internship document it seems like this is where you can actually apply the knowledge in real world tasks and actually do work find bugs test software and in this stage as well they do a lot of career coaching and job applications interview help to make sure that you're ready to go into the real world and that you're ready to get the job in the fastest way possible. And you can do this internship anywhere from one month to six months, depending on how long it takes you. And I want to get into how long it actually takes to get a job. But before that, I really want to dig into like, what are the homework and assignments that we need to do. So they're giving me access to Jira here, which is the number one software for QA testers and probably what you're going to be working in as well. And I never did this before. So I actually need to watch a lesson. Okay, cool. So everything I need to do, which is very simple, is just click on the create button in the top here. So this is also what you'll do when you get a job, you'll maybe have to assign different projects that your employer might want to. There's an issue type of bug, epic or task. And he said, we're all going to do bugs. That's kind of what we're doing to figure out what is the bug that we need to share to the development team. And the website that we're going to test is basically this bugs page that they've created for us. And if you're wondering, like, what do we actually do is you take a look at this website, right? And then you might see and look and you see here that on the left side, there is an icon that actually isn't showing. So that is a bug that we need to report. So all we need to do then is go back to Jira, go back to this bug report here and create an issue. And then we're going to create a summary. So the summary is high salaries and demand is not showing an icon. Then for the normal text here, you need to write a sort of description. So go to this website. Step number two would be to observe the high salaries and demand section, and then write a little description of actual the icon is not showing and the expected icon is showing. Once we've done with that, you can see we can label it. And this is very important based on what your company will tell you. If it's a functional problem, like a button is not working, that usually has the highest priority, while it's more of a image or how it looks like that will have a lower priority. And also depending on if it's on the home page versus if it's on a page that isn't so important, we're just gonna 
prioritize this as high, and then we need to attach a file. So I'm just gonna go back, take a screenshot here of this not working, go back again and drop this file in. And that's literally all we needed to do. I'll just click on create and you can see our bug report right here that the software developer can easily take a look at. And we just helped their website become a lot better, which kind of feels good. And also I feel kind of like a detective or something that my work is actually valuable. To play around with software, try to figure out bugs and then reporting the bugs definitely seems like something for me. So you're now seeing what the job is, how much you can get paid, what the learning platform looks like and how to actually do a bug report. But the last and final question is how long to actually get a job? Now I went on a call with Careerist and I asked this question. So they say that the learning experience usually takes 16 weeks. The internships also is around one to six months. And then once you're in the internship and you get the fast track to get a job where you get coaches, you get help with the interview questions and try to make your profile and send out a ton of job applications, it will take around anywhere from two to six months to actually get the job which seems very fair to me. Imagine you start completely from scratch and in about six months, you can get a job in a completely new career. Comparing that to, for example, college is a unfair comparison because that takes literally three years plus. And they say that the main differentiator is how many jobs you apply to. Some people go and apply to 10 jobs per day, while others apply to hundreds of jobs every single day for weeks and weeks and weeks. And they obviously have a higher success rate, just like getting any other job. So from everything I've seen, everything I've done, this seems like a great career. If you like software and you like testing and you wanna be a little detective, Careerist as a whole looks like a great learning platform. It looks like they have great coaches that are there to help you every step of the way. So if you feel like this is what I wanna do, this is the career path that I wanna go on, I highly recommend clicking the link in the description down below that will take you to Careerist joining one of their programs and start becoming a software QA engineer with all the benefits of remote work. I hope this video cleared up a lot of things that you might be wondering about. If it did, please give it a like. Also comment down below if you have any questions, but that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.